Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and today we're going to talk about how exhausted I am. <laughs> very improvised video I didn't make a YouTube script or anything but I have not been very consistent and not very active on social media lately and it's literally because I'm physically and mentally exhausted I don't even really know why everything seems to be stable with my Crohn's and my ADD meds are working, my antidepressants seems to work, but I just, I'm just exhausted. So I thought, okay, I do not have the energy to come up with something new and big about chronic illness for my YouTube. So I thought, seriously, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna talk to you about how exhausting it is to be exhausting and it sounds weird but it is and a lot of you out there probably know it i don't even know why i have vacation right now and that obviously helps a lot on my fatigue because i can sleep for a longer period of time but i have been sleeping maybe 10 12 hours at night um i have had to go to bed really early if i had to get up in the morning and go to work and I have not been in a very good mood and and this is probably something a lot of you recognize when you are physically and mentally exhausted it, it does affect your mood and I'm feeling a lot more depressed than I have for a very long time and I don't know why and it's a little bit scary because I think the worst thing I've ever gone through is depression and anxiety um, so that's probably my worst fear. I'm trying to tell myself that I do take antidepressants, so I probably will, won't sink that deep. Um, but I'm just not feeling good in any kind of way. Uh, my body is so tired and I am fatigued and I am just, my, I get these headaches. Um, I'm just not... I don't have the same energy and the same motivation to do anything. It's really hard for me to care at the moment. And I don't really know if I'm having the window blues, maybe. I don't know. I just usually don't have window blues because I frankly like winter more than summer because summer makes me, at least if it's a warm summer, it makes me feel really sick. Um, I, I'm not good with the heat. It makes everything worse for my body. So I have no idea what's going on, but it's exhausting. And people are noticing that, you know, I'm not smiling as much and I'm not as happy. And people also notice that I, I, I have a little less patient. And this is not just friends and family, it's also at work. And it's really hard to explain to people who don't know what it's like to just be completely exhausted physically and mentally, what you're going through, why you just, you don't, Oh, you just can't handle another problem. You can't handle another day and it's just You just want to sleep right and Sleeping doesn't even help It's weird and it's hard to explain. I can't explain it. Maybe somebody can but I can't just making this video right now was like Okay, I will put on makeup and I will set up the camera and I will film and I will talk, but I was like, I've been avoiding doing the video since Monday and it's Thursday now because I just, I just like, just having to look just a little bit good for the camera and setting up the camera and actually talking and then edit the video and like ugh. and it's just it's 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 really it makes me really really sad to feel that way because i do want to make youtube videos i do enjoy making them i do enjoy sharing my journey and and inspiring you guys and you know making a difference in that way advocating for chronic illness and like I enjoy that. That's kind of like my hobby in a way, but I just don't have the energy and in general, just don't have the energy for everything that I like to do and want to do, right? Which doesn't make me feel better mentally, you know, that you're only doing the things you kind of have to, right? I'm only, I'm going to work, of course, and 
well, I, I have to cook something to eat, you know, I have to clean sometimes, I, you know, like I only, mostly I do what I feel like, okay, I kind of have to do that. I have to do laundry because I'm out of clothes, you know, that kind of thing where it's like, I don't really do a lot of things that I actually want to do and that I actually enjoy um, because that's what happens when you don't have energy, right? All the fun stuff is what you don't do because you don't have to do fun stuff. You want to, but you don't have to. Whereas you kind of have to go to work, right? Like that's just, and I, it's not like I, I, I love my job. It's not like that, but it's still something I have to do, you know? And, and I come home and I'm just so tired and I'm trying so hard not to take a nap when I get home from work, because if I take a nap in the middle of the day, I cannot sleep at night. And it's like, it's this evil spiral. You probably know about it. I think the worst thing about being so exhausted physically and mentally is that it's actually physically painful. I don't know if you guys experience it that way, but for me, you know, I start to get headaches. I start to get tender in my body and, and I just kind of feel like I'm about to have the flu. But it never kind it never comes and and i've been for a month now you know because there's a lot of obviously the flu and stuff right now it's that time of year so i've been kind of waiting for it to break out because everybody has something right now right and 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 luckily and thankfully i haven't gotten the flu but i just feel like i'm about to all the time and it's exhausting it's really hard and i I can't explain to you, and this might seem like I'm rambling a little bit, and I probably am, but it's just because it's so hard to explain. And I think it's important for the world to see that it is hard to explain. It's hard to put into words what you're feeling in this situation. And I'm just rambling around here, rambling, trying to explain something that I really can't explain. But I wanted to talk about what, what, what do I do that's a little proactive when I feel like this. I think the, the, the only thing you can really do is try, and I say try because it's, it's really, you know, not always that I succeed, but, but try to be good to yourself. I try to be good to myself. I try to make sure that I don't just, you know, now I have vacation and I could easily just sleep and lie on the couch and watch TV. And I'm trying not to just do that. I'm trying to go for walks. Um, I'm trying to do some yoga, Pilates, um, reading, diamond art, um, maybe cleaning some cabinets, you know, spring cleaning kind of a thing. And I'm trying to not just, and I went salsa dancing with my friend the other day, which was actually really fun. That was a long time since I had that much fun. Uh, it was hard and I paid the price, but it, it was fun. Um, but. So I'm trying to like keep myself active without being too active, if that makes sense, because I clearly do need rest because that's what my body is telling me. But at the same time, I can't just completely stop functioning and, and doing things. So I'm trying to do little things in my vacation time here that I know once I do it, I will enjoy it. Like going for a walk, for example, it can be very overwhelming. You know, I'm actually thinking about taking a walk this afternoon and I'm like, oh, it's so hard. And I, I don't know if you know, under, you know, I don't know if you know that feeling of you kind of want to, but at the same time, it literally means I have to go put on a jacket and shoes and, you know, I actually have to go outside and like, it can seem like a really big task. But I also know that if I do it, if I can get to the point where I have so much discipline that I'm doing it, even though I don't feel like it because it's overwhelming, then I know that I'm going to love it once I'm out there and getting the fresh air, right? And being in nature. And, and when I get home, I know I'm going to feel so much better. It's the same thing when I get up in the morning and I do my gentle yoga. It's like I have had so many days this past few months where it's been like, <sighs> then I have to put on my yoga clothes and I have to turn on the computer to do yoga with my, you know, YouTube yoga instructor, Adrian. And 
ugh, you know, and then I have to do it and then like, ugh. But I'm trying to force myself and be disciplined about it um, because I know that once I'm doing yoga, I love it. And afterwards I feel so much better. So I'm trying to do things that I, little things that I enjoy here in my vacation time to feel better and cutting myself some slack. So what that means is that I'm trying to be okay with not being okay at the moment. And also cutting myself some slack in the sense that, you know what, if I end up just feeling so overwhelmed and I'm just not, could I push myself to go for that walk? Yes. But it gets to a point where it's almost painful to do it because I'm just exhausted, then I don't do it. You know what I mean? Like there, and this is the fine line, right? There's a fine line between pushing yourself to do something because you know you will enjoy it once you've done it, right? You'll do it, you'll enjoy it while you do it and you will enjoy it afterwards. But, and then, so, and then on the other hand, like when do, should I not go for that walk? When should I, take a step back and say, you know what, I'm, I just, I'm just gonna lie on the couch and watch a Disney movie or whatever. Like that's, it's a fine line. It's a hard balance to find. Um, and I'm trying to listen to my body and I feel like I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Um, it's been good for me to have vacation. It's been good for me not having to go to work and feeling completely exhausted with headaches and everything when I get home from work and just lying there not doing anything. It's been good for me that I can, I have had this week where I could just literally only do what I wanted to do because I didn't have to go to work, right? I did have to clean, but like, you know, I have more spare time to just do what I want. Um, so it's been good for me to recharge in that way. And I'm a little bit worried about going back to work because I'm still physically and mentally exhausted. I am not this, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. And so I'm a little bit nervous that when I go back to work, it will ruin what I have tried to build this week, you know, trying to build myself up physically and mentally. Um, hopefully not, you know, that's the good thing about, you know, the fact that I do love my job and I love my colleagues, so maybe not, but it's hard to feel like literally sick when you get home from work because you are exhausted physically and mentally and then actually do something that day you enjoy to do. That's actually really hard. That's why I'm a part-time worker, right? And so I don't know, I'm a little bit worried about it, but I'm trying to take one step at a time. I'm trying to be good to myself. Um, I think I am gonna go for that walk. And then I think what I'm going to do is when I'm done with that walk, I'm just not gonna do anything for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna watch a series or something and just tell myself that, you know, you got some fresh air, you moved your body and that's fine, you know, you don't have to do anything else. So I think that's the only thing you can really do, right? Um, I'm also trying to tell myself, because I am, when I feel like this, when I'm exhausted mentally and physically, I get flashbacks to when I had depression and anxiety. And that scares the beep out of me. It really does, because I'm, the worst thing I ever tried was literally ex depression. And I have Crohn's and the pain that Crohn's can cause is on another level. But still depression was way worse. It's, it, it was, that was just another level of darkness. And I'm so afraid of going back. And I don't know what to do about that. I'm trying, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is literally just saying, Caroline, you are taking antidepressants. So the chance that you will fall that deep again is very little because you are taking antidepressants. You are getting serotonin, serotonin that way. Um, or serotonin, I actually don't know how you say it in English. You probably know what I mean. Um, so I'm trying to tell myself that, you know, that will prevent me from going completely down, downhill and just hitting rock bottom. But it still scares me that feeling this way because it just gives so many flashbacks and triggers some trauma that I have from being depressed. And I know that I need to keep an eye on it because maybe I need to increase the doses of my antidepressants. So I have to be sure about that. Um, 
I don't know if this video makes sense. It doesn't. I've just been rambling on for what, 16 minutes now? Like, blah, 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 blah. And <laughs> I need, I, well, there is gonna be some editing to do, that's for sure. Um, but I don't know. This is just me, raw me, giving you my thoughts on being completely exhausted and maybe also an explanation for why I'm not that active on social media at the moment. I haven't forgotten about you. I just, I'm just so exhausted. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, turn on notifications, share and do your thing. You can also follow me on my Instagram. That's also called the art of being ill. And I'm sorry if this video was depressing and weird and chaotic and la la. Please take very good care of yourself and have a blessed rest of the day. I will see you next time. Hopefully a little more jolly here on my YouTube channel, the art of being ill.